everyone. Uh, my name is Danielle Daguilar, and today I'm going to talk to you about the giant impact of small encounters. One of the best encounters that I've had with a stranger was in 2011 in the gardening department of the Lowe's near my childhood home. Uh, there I met a lovely woman named Christine, and at the time I was studying French in high school, and my mother and I approached Christine for assistance. Um, I noticed her accent, and I said, excuse me, where are you from? She said, I'm from Cameroon. And you know, I felt sort of proud to tell her that I had been studying French in school, uh, but I completely embarrassed myself uh, with my French at the time. Uh, but Christine really didn't seem to care. I think she was a little overwhelmed with joy, really, to meet a young girl such as myself who was not only able to afford the resources, but who was also eager and willing to learn a bit about the country and culture, which she loved and missed, and who was also trying to speak her language with her. I, I was making a personal connection uh, that was more than just employee to customer. And that day, when I was in the middle of Lowe's, uh, when I was 14 years old, Christine taught me that the barriers which we find between people and our society can so easily be broken with the simplest of connections. So I've been going back every so often to visit Christine at that Lowe's and we have brief conversations in which she continues to inspire me and she's inspired me to continue my French studies throughout college and I now have a minor. And she's inspired me to work with refugees, particularly those from Central and North Africa. So if you ask me, I think that even the smallest of encounters with complete strangers or people who have vastly different life experiences from our own really have the potential to impact our conscience the most. Think about it. When you meet a stranger who tells you a great story or something about themselves, it sticks with you. And you tell your family and your friends and your coworkers about them. And sometimes when you're forming opinions on topics from healthcare and religion to education and poverty, they can sway your opinions more than facts that you read in books or see in the news. So I think we should place more value on these small encounters. Um, the idea of people spending years of their lives searching for one person who can inspire them and be one role model forever just doesn't sit well with me because it inherently diminishes the value of these small encounters such as mine with Christine. These, these small encounters, these are great opportunities for learning and opportunities to get a glimpse outside of our daily routines and our personal microcosms, these are opportunities for one minute mentoring. I don't think anyone is ever going to find one person that can teach them and inspire them and challenge their perspectives the way that a hundred of these small but valuable encounters with strangers really can. These minute mentors, while they may be everywhere, sometimes they're hard to find because, you know, sometimes we're oblivious, sometimes we're too preoccupied, sometimes we're unengaged and we miss out on these instances of insight. When I was in high school, my senior year, I was on the newspaper staff and someone approached me and said, you should write a story about one of our custodians. He's doing something really great behind the scenes. And I said, okay, okay, so I found who this custodian was, and when I met him to interview him, I realized that for three years, this man had been right in front of me, picking up my garbage and the garbage of thousands of my peers. And I learned that what he'd been doing was recycling aluminum, aluminum cans from our garbage, and with the money he made from recycling those cans, about 25 cents a pound, he was donating to support homeless and disabled children in Vietnam, as well as victims of natural disaster in Vietnam, the country which he was a refugee from. And so Mr. Su, that was his name, Mr. Su, he never asked to be celebrated, he never asked for the story to be written about him, but when the story came out, it unfortunately faced backlash, and he 
was told that he would have to stop collecting cans unless he was on his break. Long story short, uh, from this experience, I learned quite a bit about politics, for one. Uh, but from Mr. Sue, I learned that if you want to work hard, if you want to give to someone, and you want to do something for others, then you work hard, and you face your obstacles, and you try your best not to complain, because Mr. Sue never complained. And to the best of my knowledge, he's still giving back. So I believe that it's up to us to really listen to the stories that others have to tell and to put value into a conversation so that we can get something back from it. I believe that there's a Christine and a Mr. Sue around every corner. You've probably run into them at school or work at Lowe's in the gardening department. And now I leave you with this. I challenge you. The next time you go anywhere, school, work, airport, wherever, be alert and be ready. Seek your Christine, your Mr. Sue, your Minute Mentor. Thank you. Uh, Christine is actually here today in the audience, and I'd like uh, to invite her up on stage uh, to give her a warm welcome and um, to honor her for being such a wonderful inspiration in my life. Christine, would you like to come up? today here. I've had some wonderful speakers who've already come. Um, I really like the speaker um, who came and just talked about his startup, and I'd like to talk about this. Um, <laughs> uh, but really, they can be everywhere. Um, maybe the coffee shop I'm going to afterwards, I'll find someone, or you never know. So um, what, is, what do you think their incentive is of these Minute Mentors to help, say, complete strangers? Um, I don't think there is an incentive. I think it's much more natural than that. It doesn't, it doesn't take too much effort. Uh, I think it's really more about just being aware of where you are in the moment and being human and, and talking to the people next to you and, and you know, sharing a little bit of yourself with them and they'll share a little bit of themselves with you and that could be incredibly valuable and incredibly inspirational. Thank you so much. Thank you.